And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. And very often you'll find a zipper hidden in the uh, arm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. And who are you, sir? I don't want to be identified. We have just been told by a member of the staff at Parkland Hospital the president is dead. And we're back. And today we're going to be talking about the man that brought the twist to the White House, JFK. For many, JFK represents a changing of the times the taking over of one generation from another, the torch passing down from Dwight Eisenhower to baby blue eyes. Kennedy was a picture of youth and vigor, the youngest senator to have been elected to that point and the youngest president to be elected. And he was hanging out with hot young celebrities. But I don't think he was getting another term. And the reason why is because he was a very sick man through these profiles, it does seem that there's just like these really cool and, and weird things that you learn along the way. And so we're on a bit of a detour today from civil rights and we'll get to LBJ. But today, and probably the next video, I want to continue on JFK for a bit. So what I want to go over in this video is JFK's health, how it would have affected him, how it would have affected the country, and why I don't think he would have gone for a second term. From a young age, Kennedy was plagued with diseases like whooping cough, chicken pox, measles, scarlet fever, ear infections. He spent a lot of time away from school or at home at least, getting better, recovering. As well as this, the president suffered from chronic back problems, which was only made worse when in World War II, when he was serving with the United States Navy, his torpedo boat was cut in half, badly injuring him. Which, despite that, he managed to tow a injured crewmate to the beach using his teeth. Nice. I tried several different ways to record this, but they were all a bit inelegant. So I'm just going to list off the health problems and medical treatments that he had. Spastic colitis, a very unstable lumbosacral joint, pain in the sacroiliac joints, osteomyelitis, arthritis, Addison's disease, which led to severe diarrhea, vomiting, and fatigue, osteoporosis, recurring urinary tract infections, hypothyroidism, and autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 2. And just as an aside, he fainted on two occasions while on official business. And his medical treatments as well were pretty insane. So he had four back surgeries to insert plates and fuse lumbar, corticosteroids almost constantly, oral and topical, opiates, lidocaine, librium, amphetamines, thyroid hormones, barbiturate sleeping pills, gamma globulin for his immunity, steroid hormones, antispasmodics, antibiotics, testosterone and salt tablets. Despite these problems, Kennedy managed to suppress his medical history throughout his political career, and it had only been released after he died. Kennedy's medical history has kind of been coming out in drips and drabs since he died. From a few years afterwards, we find out that he had hypothyroidism, uh, to decades later, there's a comprehensive write-up by historian Robert Dalek. Robert, I'll put it on the screen. So, what were the consequences for Kennedy? Well. He was almost in constant pain with constant nausea, having to be always treated for something at all times. And a lot of the time he was wearing a back brace to keep him upright. And if you look at the photos with Kennedy in them, you can kind of see now like that rigid sort of high shouldered appearance, which there was a moment where everyone liked to talk about how this may have led to his death. But the first bullet that hits him go like severs his spine goes through his like upper lung and like exits his throat. Um, I'm pretty sure he was going to die. Before news conferences, Kennedy would regularly have seven to eight procaine injections in his back. Things like barbiturates are highly addictive uh, that are used to help himself go to sleep. He would be occasionally be on anti-anxiety medication. Medications like amphetamines can affect your disposition, making you more irritable, more rash, more impulsive. And as a practicing Catholic, 
He was Rita's last rites twice before he was assassinated. When his brother asked him about the medication, he had one very particular view on it. He said, I don't care if it's horse piss, it works. The fact that this man was able to function at all is a, a testament to medical science. But you can't help but think this must have affected his time in the White House. There is an alternative world where the Cuban Missile Crisis doesn't pan out the way it does in ours. Where Kennedy's rash quarantining blockade does lead to an open conflict. I don't know what's gone wrong, so you're gonna have to bear with me while the camera just flickers away there. But at the very beginning, my idea for this video was that JFK wouldn't run for a second term or wouldn't be able to run for a second term. But having made the video now, I'm kind of going back on that, where I think that he would have run for a second term and I think he would have won it. He is the most popular post-war president say that seven times quickly he is overwhelmingly popular and he would have most likely have won a second election but i think that would have destroyed the legacy of jfk four years of insane drug use is bad enough but now you're going to have four more on top of all the other damage that's already been done to you so that's the change in the thesis is that jfk would have run for a second term he would have won a second term but it probably would have been the destruction of his legacy. If you'd like to see more about that, that's what my next video is going to be on, is if JFK got a second term. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that jazz, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.